and welcome to PML Draft Center. I'm your host, Joe Zamore here, and we are bringing you week two recap for PML Draft. All right, guys, let's go ahead and jump into this, and we're going to go into our first game, which was the game of the week. We have the Dragon Knights, coached by Jeremy, versus the Holy Crusaders, coached by Haseen. So we got a real medieval battle here today. And um, sadly, it wasn't as hyped up as I thought it would be. Um, it was a pretty one-sided match in this battle. Uh, and the Dragon Knights just somehow came away with this game. Even though Haseen has a pretty good build on his team. Those are the teams they brought. Uh, Dragon Knights came in with Dragon Knight, Primarina, Rhydon, Rotom Frost. Nihilego and Alolan Marowak, while Haseen brought uh, Turtonator, Grimmsnarl, Halucha, Haxorus, Naganadel, and the Weezing. The Galarian form, of course. And uh, this is kind of what happened in this match. It looks like uh, Haxorus was able to get an early kill off on the Dragonite, but then Rhydon came in, clicked Dynamax, maybe. Uh, was weakness policy? Maybe not. Not too entirely sure on that. But somehow got five kills off on the Holy Crusaders. So was able to get a sweep there and earn himself the MVP that we will talk about later. Next up, we have the Dr the Knights, coached by Coach Dusty versus the Country Chinchinos, coached by Ryan. And this was a timer battle that happened here so we had uh dusty with the charizard venusaur torque scraggy or scrafty uh escavalier and chansey versus the chinchinos who have the bulky build of pokemon with claydol gudra and uh incineroar luxray sableye and slowking looks like uh they couldn't get much done uh scrafty and zard got some got some kills early i believe uh, they were the ones who get the kills for Dusty's team. And uh, Sableye and Claydol were the ones that got taken out by them. So there wasn't much going on there. Apparently there was some Dynamax shenanigans uh, with uh, Chansey. And Chansey was just able to stall out the Chinchinos for the Week 2 win. So congratulations to Dusty on that one. But no one likes a timer win. Alright, next up we have... Uh, the Saratoga Sableyes coached by Josh. And they versed up against Jaden, the Townsville Crocodiles. The Saratoga Sableyes had Arcanine, Blastoise, Galarian Darmanitan, Obstagoon, Rune Regis, and uh, Slow, Slow King Galarian. I don't know why I wanted to say Slowbro. But, yeah, that's the team he had there. And then Jaden went ahead and had Arctazolt, Cinderace, Faramosa, Ribombi, Slowbro, and Vanellix. And this battle was pretty one-sided as well, believe it or not. Uh, the, the Sableyes and the Crooks had a mighty battle. Um, turns out Slowking was the front runner for the Saratoga Sableyes with four kills versus Jaden's team. I do believe this was another timer battle. Um, actually, no, I don't believe so. But, uh, it looks like Cinderace was only able to get two kills. And, uh, Vanellix setting up the hell for Arctazolt, exploding, giving its life to give Arctazolt a chance to sweep. And Arctazolt only got one kill. So, that was that battle there. Congratulations to Josh on that week two win. Next up, we have Coach Matt of the Blade. Versus CC of the Crimson Slayer Fairies who slayed our team last week. But that wasn't the case this week. Matt bringing Kofagrigus, Alola Ninetales, Como O, Jellicent, Galvantula, and Excadrill versus CC's The Roar, Azumarill, Serena, Salvali, Scizor, and Rhyperior. Matt was able to get the win here. Also the timer, it looks like there was only one Pokemon left on the Crimson Slayer Fairy side that he just could not get down, and of course it was that pesky Azumarill. Luckily for him though, Azumarill didn't get any kills in this battle. Uh, Matt's team was led by Galvantula with two kills. Ninetales got one, and Jellicent got one, so actually it looks like there was two Pokemon still alive. 
but see she didn't go down without a fight getting three kills herself from Silvali, serena and zoric all getting one so kudos to them on that tremendous battle and congratulations to matt for winning his week two next up we have the tartriots versus the knoxville kecleon and of course i'm the coach of joe of the tartriots and i let off with clefable steelix mr mime lycanroc midday uh Paldon. i don't know why i forgot his name and dracovish uh jacob went ahead and led off with drapion alakazam uh, Cray Dilly, Garchomp, Ice Skew, and Gastrodon. So this one was kind of an interesting battle because he actually let off the Alakazam. And I went ahead and I believe I led off Steelix. Uh, he didn't stay in with it. And I was able to... Uh, what did I do? Well, the battle's up on YouTube, so don't forget to check that one out. But yeah, th there was a lot of shenanigans going on. Uh, I was able to get a kill with Steelix and mr mime no just mr mime and lycanroc early on drapion did try to fire off against us pretty hard but steelix was able to counter it pretty well uh it 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 took out his dynamax didn't get the kill but was able to get up the hefty stealth rocks that helped us win at the end of the game and clefable was our front runner with four kills so Thank you, Jacob, for the tremendous battle, and I can't wait to see if we battle again. Next up, we have the Philadelphia Polyrask versus the Florida for Alligators. Marquis, coach of the Philadelphia Polyrask, led off with Aerodactyl, Chandelier, Milk Tank, uh, Magnet Magneton, Tentacruel, and Vileplume. Uh, while he did not get the win, he didn't have a great showing either with a 5-0 loss to Quake. Uh, Milk Tank was the only one to get a kill on his team, but Quake's team over here with Colossal, Durant, Malamar, Milotic, Mr. Rhyme, and Porygon 2. Durant was the front runner there with the four kills, and uh, I believe that's the one that had the death. And Porygon also had two kills, so I have to believe Max Durant made an appearance. And let's go to the next battle here. We have... Oh, sorry. Congratulations, Quack, for winning that Week 2 battle. Next up, we have Steven, coach of the Dallas Rockstars, with Crocodile, Togekiss, Skarmory, Roserade, Raichu, Alolan, and Magmortar versus the New Orleans Apes, coached by Melvin, with the Raquinid, Hydreigon, Conkelder, Metagross, Nidoqueen, and Sylveon, and oh my goodness, is that a scary team right there. Uh, the apes were able to pull off a timer win, believe it or not. With all that firepower, they did not clean up that team. Uh, Metagross did get two kills. The lone Raichu on Steven's side did get a kill. I'm not sure on who, but um, it did leave a salty taste in Steven's mouth, and he decided to drop from the league. Luckily, we already have a replacement. But congratulations to Melvin on that week two win, and let's go on to the next one. Actually, that was it, because Morgan and Kenneth are going to have to make up their battle next week. I will briefly go over their stats, but not going to go into too much detail there. All right, lastly but not leastly, as I told you, the most valuable Pokemon this week was Rhydon with the five kills. Just edging out the Durant, uh, Durant, Clefable, and yeah, I think that was it. Oh, and Slowking. So... Congratulations to the runners up, but you weren't able to beat the Gen 1 power of this beast. Right on came in. Uh, coached by Jeremy of the Dragon Knights and won MVP of Week 2. MVP of Week 2 goes to Right on of the Dragon Knights, having a dominating showing, was able to get five kills in a game. It didn't have to worry about any grass or water Pokemon, though, really, on Hosting's team, but it pour a new one into that man's team right there i mean i'm telling you gen one power is the best power all right guys that is the week two recap thank you guys for watching leave a like subscribe and don't forget to check out other battles in this league